Welcome back to the Junk Room, everybody. It's me, the Jumpman, coming back at another video to tell you what a Beanish Kenner Star Wars figure is worth today. In the last couple of videos, we've looked at Yak Face, Obi Wan Kenobi, and a couple others. And today, we're going to look at a fan favorite, Han Solo, in his original 1978 outfit. Now, as you did know, with each new movie, Kenner kept producing the older figures, just putting them on new cards. So let's look at the figure loose first. He came with two variations. Big Head and Small Head. The Small Head was released first in 1978, and in 1980, it was switched to a bigger head, as Kenner felt the other head was too small. If you ask me, the Big Head looks kind of silly. Makes him kind of look like an odd-looking Ringo Starr. But after 1980, the Big Head is what was used. Let's take a look and see how much a Small Head figure is worth. You can find it loose, ungraded, in good condition for about 70 to 50 dollars it is the rarest of the two but pretty easy to find loose as for that silly big head looking one well it's the most common and being that it was released between 1980 and until the end of the line it is easier to find but it can run you loose ungraded in good condition 40 to 60 dollars now let's head over and look at them carded Han was first released in 1978 as part of the original 12 on the 12 back card he is worth about $1,500 to about $4,000. Again, these numbers depend on condition. And then you have slightly different backs, like 12 back A and 12 back B. But here, overall, we're looking at about $15 to about $4,000. Heading over to the Empire Strikes Back card, we do have Han Solo with a small head on the Empire Strikes Back card released in 1980 before it was changed over to the big head. It is harder to find the small head on the Empire Strikes Back card and can run you anywhere between two to four thousand dollars. But what about Han Solo with that big ugly head on the Empire Strikes Back card? Well, he's easier to find running about three to five hundred dollars. And now let's look at Return of the Jedi. Kenner did change the photo up, but when he was first released, the old photo was used. The one with him standing in front of the Falcon. Out of the two, it is the hardest one to find, but you can find it if you look around. And you're spending about seven hundred to twelve hundred dollars. As for the newer photo of Han Solo, that runs about 400 to 800. And the last of the original Han Solo we have on card is Han Solo and Tri Logo. This one's pretty easy to find. You can pick it up anywhere between 100 to 300 dollars. Again, these prices are an estimate, and when it comes to cardio figures, there's a lot that goes into it: the look of the bubble, the condition of the card, punched or unpunched, and then we have all the variations of the back. Well, every time they use a new figure, a new back was created with a new count number. And a few other things changed here and there. So if you look at an Empire Strikes Back Han Solo figure from the front and wonder why it sells for different prices, it's mostly because of the back of the card. Some of these figures on some of these card backs had a very limited run and are worth a lot more. But here I just want to kind of go over the basics. But let's look at the Kenner Han Solo action figure and what he's worth today. But I want to thank you for watching. As always, thumb up, turn on my content. Subscribe to the channel. We'll talk again soon. Hey, jump man channel popping though. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony.